America's going to hell while you're trying to figure if God wants you to get people saved. God doesn't call you surrender. Volunteer. Pastor, why are you like you are? I represent the affluent people of this church. I, I'm nervous. Look at me, I'm trembling right now. I'm nervous. My doctor the other day, we have a bunch of doctors in our church. My doctor came after the service to take my blood pressure. He said, preach the way you've been preaching lately. I'm worried about you. He put that little blue jigger on my arm, took my blood pressure, shook his head, and said, it's normal. Well, I don't know how you can preach like that and not have high blood pressure. Said, Doc, I don't have high blood pressure. I give high blood pressure. I said, go check the deacon's blood pressure and see how they're doing. He said, we're nervous. You're not like the other preachers. Why can't you be normal? We like you fine. We like your preaching. It's a bit loud. We like you personally. But he said, before you came here, we had a revival once a year, or maybe sometimes twice. We'd get some advantages in here. We'd baptize a few people, and we had folks saved. But he said, since you've been here, it's so winning on Sunday. It's so winning on Monday. It's so winning on Tuesday. It's so winning on Wednesday. It's so winning on Thursday. It's so winning on Friday. It's so winning on Saturday. Why can't you be like everybody else? We're a nervous bunch of people. Why can't you be normal? I said to my people, not only is there a call from within, there's a call from without. Not only did the apostles say... We cannot but speak the things we've seen and heard. It's in here. It's in here. I said it's in here. There's a call from the inside. I said not only is there a call from within, there's a call from without.